or unorthodox, I'm not going to use the bizarro pun. He's going to get the most unorthodox openings. He's going to be in spaces that Club didn't know that he could get into that quickly. And he's going to get minor openings, and that's bizarro. But Club's, I think Club, you know, is a fundamental player that he's going to recognize the options that Bizarro's capable of, and he's going to adapt as the set goes on. Um, but with that being said, Bizarro did take a full game off of Drug Fox. That was make, really impressive. He did make game three competitive, so, um, you know, you get stomped once, and it could potentially s snowball into four more stomps into an up tilt. <laughs> um, I'm hoping for a Giki Cat, though. That would be nice. That would be nice. All right, we're going into game one starts on Battlefield, and will the chain grab happen? Goes for it. It's a little tricky. Um, if the Ganon starts DIing behind, um, if you slightly miss, you're going to get stomped. That's not a fun risk reward if you do miss. He's instantly got him at 87%. I like business tag. Okay, stomp to get back aired. As impressive as Bizarro Flames movement is, Club's movement is insane. Oh, man. The way he maneuvers platform, shield drops, and just goes everywhere. It's really impressive. Look at what he does between stocks. It's Amazingly new school. Great to see the transition. Though the Samus does come out, Club cleaned up that first stock nearly instantly. Alright, let's see if he... Okay, he's gonna go for the wiser, wider timing window off the tech chase. But see, the DI behind is a little tricky to cover. Yeah. And so what Kirby Kazi recommends is that if you're uncomfortable with that, just throw an up tilt and you get good things. Tricky down tilt. Will set up an opportunity. Not quite yet. Wow. And a fair like that, and you're off the stage. Oh. Kind of an unfortunate little flub there. I feel Ganondorf. I'm wondering if Ganon really has an option to quickly get on stage and hit something, though. Like a super fast wave land into even a back air? maybe or something? A back air? Can't really fair like that off the. I'm, I'm sure Biz will show us. Absolutely no nonsense right now. Yeah, this is just rinse and repeat right now. This character does not have options. Yes. In a typical way. <laughs> not much you can really do about that. Um, what, from the, the way that Club's playing is red light, green light. Like, it's like if it's green light, then he can move around. If it's like red light and Bizarro can run a hitbox, then he puts up shield. And that's how you should be playing this matchup. Oh, double fair. That actually <laughs> is actually a stop. Wow. Oh my god. Really? All right, yeah. he's definitely still in this. Was that a platform cancel there? Yes, it was. Amazing. Club is not happy about what just happened. This is going to... See, that's the risky thing. He almost got stomped again because he missed the chain grab there. So on paper, Ganon should almost never win this matchup. He does always have a fighting chance. Well, technically on paper, Ganon's the super villain of this video game. That is true, right? How did... I mean, I feel like this has been said a lot. How did yeah. she get caught? I don't know. I think in the game, she transforms to Zelda and then instantly gets caught. I see. So it's good the Pluff's not down being. That would be a bad idea. Um, it's, and it's actually pretty close. Yeah. Wow, called the needle there. Uh-oh. And this is going to be big damage here. Oh, just kidding. And that's the third time he's missed that chain grab, so I'm hoping that he just goes for the up tilt instead. It's been off similar DI every time that this yeah. has been tricking him. Yeah, he'll DI away, and then he'll DI in the second one. No mercy. Yeah. And that's not Absolutely zero mercy from Bluff there. But that's what you got to do. He fares you once, he might die. Yeah. You cannot let Biz start up anything. Whether it's in terms of damage output, his movement, just his styling. If he styles once, he probably feels a little bit better, looser, gets in your yeah. head. And then you start getting nervous, you don't press your advantages. But I think playing against Ganon is just a simple test of discipline. You don't, you don't do anything fancy, you don't jump into him. You shield liberally because Ganon's grab isn't the greatest. And then you pick your spots. If you can do that, then it's a pretty simple formulaic matchup for, uh, for Sheik. Yeah, people talk about this like this is. Sheik could probably just fair and grab. He's a few other tools. Needle, I guess. Four tilt's really good. Four, Four tilt's really good. So really just unfortunate bracket luck for Bizarro Flame this tournament. Yeah. Plays the two sharpest southeast Sheiks that he can find. All right, he missed the chain grab again. So he's not really quite used to it. It looks like at zero he's going for a tech chase at first and then trying to follow up. So we saw one thing, and that's, this is the one thing that you have to be really careful about when you play Ganon, is getting crotch canceled. Whether oh, yeah. you're Sheik, Fox, or Falco, 
Um, I'm getting crouch cancelled is devastating because he can get like cheeky grabs off of those uh, crouch cancels. Clean. Very clean. And it's important to keep Ganon off the stage and just limit his ability to survive on this stage. If you're looking for some. Wow. Okay, calls it. This is an even game again. He did 70 damage, plumped in about 200. Yeah. <laughs> and that's Dreamland. Interesting what Biz is doing here. He's trying to stay on the top platform. Yeah. Well, he's trying to find a way down, and Plump's covering his uh, approaches to just get to the bottom platform pretty well. So he's not up there by his own volition. Yes. Oh, the Tafo. Kind of. Oh, he's dead. Wow. He's dead. All right, 12%. Bizarro takes those. Bizarro's gonna have to take those. This is, this is a monster of a player he's playing right here. Oh, I think he wanted like a tomahawk, but yeah. it was there first. And this is the chain grab. Nice match by Plum. But good read on the roll. Um, barely misses the up air to potentially get a game. So now we're seeing on the side DI, um, Plum is going for that smash now. For at least some damage. Not oh, trying to take. Wow, he scared him the whole way down. Pushed him. Plump laughed a little bit after he did that. Tricking Ganon into going so low he can't recover. Okay. That is very risky. He does the eye off the stage. He might be dead. Oh, gets the hug. I think. Ah, uh, he's not getting these. It's actually kind of hard to go from zero to like 100 on Ganon just off the edge runs alone. Like the back air there, gets him off stage. That's a good choice. He's going to have to do it again. Nice, he's picking it up better. I think he's happy with his play on the left. Let's go, Bizarro. Let's go, Bizarro. So, Biz both reps NorCal and SoCal in a very interesting way. Yeah, school and family, respectively. Oh, the grab. So scary. Tries oh. to go for the spike there. If he hit it, I think that was the match. It, yeah, I think so. Club had no fear there. Bizarro's trying to read the rules right now. Um, you know, if he gets one good read, this might be it. Ooh, tech chases. This will be a chain grab. And he's starting to get the, the chain grabs on the slight backwards CI. Yeah, Plub's picked him up. Oh, that was a little written scary for Plub. Yeah, Ganon did have stage there. Bizarro does have an option here. He will have to get down. I like the way he protected himself with the fair. This might be over. Oh, oh. Plub misses! Oh, Plub misses. so close! Oh my god! Oh. Oh, you have one last chance here. Because you're Ganon. You have Ganon chances here. The needles will keep him at that height. That should be it for the set. Oh. Oh. Bizarro definitely did have his chances there, but Plub takes a 2-0. Bizarro's shaking up a little bit. Yeah.